Okay, so this is the last part of my high score tutorial. And in this part, we are going to add the intern name UI. And we simply just need to um, implement or to add one more asset to our game before we can actually do that. So if I try to open up some sprite here so I can show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a sprite that looks like this. It's just simple, um, very, very simple sprite with a border around it. And this is going to be the background of my intern name. So I'm going to go to my sprites um, folder and I'm going to drag the intern, intern score sprite in. And this sprite is going to be an image under my canvas. So it's not going to be under the background. It's just going to be independent. So I'm going to right click on my canvas. I'm going to select UI and select an image. And this image has no source image right now. So I'm going to select that and select my interscore. And remember, if you can't find the interscore, it might be because the texture type here is not set to a sprite 2D and UI. Then you select this and you click on the image and select native size to get the right size or to get the right ratio, actually. And then you just hold shift down and scale it down so that it has the size that you want to have in your game. Maybe this is a little large, Let's say that I want it like this and then basically in the middle of the screen or something. Then we are going to rename the image by pressing F2 and we're going to rename it to enter name. When we have done that, we will need to add a button. So right click on enter name, go to UI and select button. And this is going to be the button we need to click whenever we want to enter a new name. So we can click on the button to expand it, go to the text and write OK. This is what the text is going to read. So besides that, we will need to change the text type because we would like the font to be the same as the rank name and score and high score. So drag the press start or whatever font you're using into the Arial here and replace it. And yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if we should make it larger or smaller. Let's try 15 or something. Yeah, 15 looks good to me. And I'm not going to put an outline on it. Let's try to make it white here. Yeah, okay, I am going to put an outline on it because it can't basically see the white and the gray. So just click add component and write outline and select this. I'm actually not sure if I want white or I want black. I look better in black actually. So maybe I'm just going to delete this outline here and make it black again. It looks better actually. Yeah, sorry for, for the confusion if you got confused by this. So basically just set up this, um, yeah, set the bottom up as you want with the correct size, the correct uh, font color and so on. So now we have the button. The next thing we need to do is an input field where we are going to enter our name. So right click on enter name, go to UI and find a input field. And the input field is not very large when you just add it. So you can simply just stretch it a little to make it fit the whole uh, size of this. Maybe a little smaller in one side and then a little wider maybe. Yeah, there we go. And you can do the exact same thing. You can take the input field here and you can rename it to or, sorry, not rename, you can take the placeholder on the input field and change the text by dragging, by selecting the input field, opening it up, clicking the placeholder, taking the font here and dragging it all the way to the font. And instead of enter text, you can write enter name. And maybe put best fit on it and set the size to 15 and 15 or something. And let's see, yeah, I just want to play it and stop playing. Yeah, there we go. And we can also put some dots after it maybe, so it looks a little better. And you can of course move this placeholder around as you want it. Maybe you want to center it more. Maybe you want to do like this so that text name is a little in the center of it. Maybe you want to do the same to the button. Can't really see the difference. And maybe you don't want an italic, that's basically up to you. Down here under the placeholder, we have the actual text that we are entering. And we basically want it to be the exact same thing as the 
placeholder up here so you can actually right click on it and copy component and then you can go to the text right click on it and paste component values and then we can take the color here and make it totally black and you can yeah there's no text in it so now when we play our game we will be able to click on this input field here and we'll be able to write some text in it as you can see here so we will also need to um, add some functionality to this click button here so we will have to open our script and then we will have to create a new function called uh, for example enter enter score enter name or something so basically we need to create this function here public void and enter name and in here we need a reference to the um, to the UI element we just created. So basically we need to create some texts, a public text. And if you can't find text, because you haven't included the right namespace up here, so go up here and say using Unity en Engine, sorry, Unity Engine.UI to include text. So now it lights up in green and just call it enter name. So then we can go down here and say, when we click the button, we need to test if we entered anything. So if someone didn't enter a name and press enter, well, then we don't want to save a empty name or an empty score. So we need to say if enter name dot text isn't equal to string dot empty. And then we're going to say the score score is equal to unity engine dot random dot range i'm just going to make a random score between 1 and 500 so now the score is random this is going to be the score you achieve by playing your game of course and then we're going to say insert score into name dot text comma score because insert score needs two things it needs a name of the player and the name of the player is under the enter name text box, which we entered our name in. So enter name, the text. And the new score is going to be our random score. And then we need to clear the enter, to enter text. So enter name, the text equals string dot empty. And then we are going to show the new score. So show scores again. So to sum up, we created an enter name function that the OK button out there will call. We are checking if we entered a name or not. Then we are generating a random score. We are calling our insert score function by taking the text we just entered in the text box and the random score. And then we are entering, uh, emptying in the te text box again and showing the scores to the player. So we also need to be able to show that enter name text box. So basically up in our update function, we'll have to um, make an if statement that's if our input dot get key down key code dot escape. So if we click on the escape button, then we want to show the enter name. And this is of course a replacement for your game over screen. When your game over game is over, well, then you need to show the enter name text. Then we are going to make a public, sorry, up here. We're going to make a public game object called name dialog. And inside, when we press escape, we are going to say name dialog that set active equals name dialog that active self. So we're just reversing it. So every time we press the escape button, it's going to hide the name dialog or show the name dialog. So set active shows it or hides it, depending on the Boolean value it gets. So if it's active, it gets the negative of active and that's inactive. And if it's inactive, it gets the negative of inactive, which is active. So that's true or false in that way. If we jump back to Unity, and let it load. 
we can select our high score manager. So first of all, it needs the enter name text, and that's just the text here, down there, and it needs the dialogue, and the dialogue is actually the whole enter name here, that we'll put like right here. And from the get-go, we would like our enter name to be invisible. So just select your enter name and disable it by disabling it up here. So if we play the game again, and let's just see a little more than just that top five. Let's just say we can see a top 10 here. Let's play the game and press escape. The enter name pops up. We click here and we start our name is is a duck or something and then we click OK and of course it doesn't work because I haven't assigned the button yet I am getting ahead of myself here so we have to click on the button of course and down here on the on click we have to click the plus button and then we have to find the high score manager and drag it to the empty slot select the function go to the high score manager script and then we have to find um, the enter name function here. So this basically makes sure that we are calling this function here in here enter name. That's that's what we just did because the script is sitting on our high score manager of course. So let's try again. Escape. My name is still duck. Click OK. Boom. It just added a whole bunch of scores and as you saw here the reason that it not added all those scores is because we loaded everything in again but we forgot to delete the old ones as you can see here we have one two three four five six seven eight and we have two seven here but we have added duck here so we forgot to delete the old scores when we just added duck so let's go and fix that so inside our show score fun function here so we can find it um, don't we have a show score? There we go. So inside this function, we will have to say find all our scores and destroy them so they are not shown in our game. And the easiest way to do that is simply by um, adding a tag to all the scores and putting them in array in a, an array and then deleting them. So basically, we can do like this for each game object score in um, game object dot find objects with objects with tag score and this basically returns a whole array of all these with with the tag score and then we can say well destroy Uh, score. We're going to destroy them down here. So destroy removes them from the game and this finds all the game objects that we want to destroy. It's very important here you use, use find game objects with an S. So you find all the game objects with the score tag. If you forget the S, well then you're going to get this error here because it's not a collection you're returning. So let's try to save this and then we can try to open Unity again. So let's try to run and see what happens. We have a tag score is not defined and that makes sense because our score tag has not been defined. So we need to go to our score here. We need to go and add a tag, add tag, and then click the little plus button here. Then we have to write score. So we tag everything, select the score again, click on the tag and then add the tag score. So make sure that your score here has the score tag on it. And if we run the game again, we have everything in duck. Let's see if we open up our, um, what is it? I want to open background. I want to find my mask and scores here. As you can see, every single score on our list has the score tag now because you put it on the prefab. Okay, so let's try to add a score for dog instead and click OK. And let's see. We have dog, it actually just replaced duck, which is not, yeah, okay, we have a top 10, so that makes sense. Let's just try with a top 50 so we can see that we add everything. So let's try with duck again then. Then we have duck um, up here, 
and let's try laughing out loud okay here's only 113 points okay so now you can see we can add something with this uh, name dialog here but there is still one error we'll need to fix if I try to run the game again here and I enter a name say I enter duck again and press OK uh, then you'll see duck is not deleted from here it, it keeps staying here the duck name and when we press the OK button we would like the duck to disappear so apparently there's something wrong here and I think the reason is that when we try to reset something inside um, enter name here we are trying to say uh, enter name the text um, like this enter name the text equals string dot empty and that is fine that, that is totally correct I delete this by mistake but you should still have this code called enter name the text equals string dot empty and that's totally fine but we need to change something we would need to change the type because enter name is right now text and it should be an input field instead. So you need to go to your fields and change the text to an input field for the enter name. So if we save this and jump into Unity, and then we should see that this one should switch to name. And let's see, um, it's under uh, here. And this is our input field, so I guess we can take our high school manager and take the input field and put here. There we go. So select your high school manager, find the input field under enter name, and move it to the uh, enter name field here. So let's try one more time. Um, let's try um, cat and press OK. And now it cleared the text, now it's written enter text again. and um, it entered the cat name here. So now we are able to delete the text that we um, we, d we just uh, entered so that you can't just press this OK button more times or so that the input field is ready for the next time someone needs to enter a high score. I think I will have to add one more part to this tutorial because we also need to see how we can um, export a game with this uh, SQLite database so that we're sure that the database is there. Um, so we need to write a little more code and we need to do something to our project to make this work. And that's what we're going to do in the next part.